Hi, welcome to my seventh update in my panels eyeshadows for 2024, which is not your standard panels eyeshadows. I'm doing differently this year. I chose around 24 eyeshadows that I wanted to hit pan on, and um, my goal is to hit pan in 24 eyeshadows in 2024. And I have a variety of different eyeshadows, different brands, lots of different colors. And I need to check how many times, no, I need to check how many eyeshadows I have hit pan on so far. Um, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 22 eyeshadows. I have hit pan in 22 eyeshadows so far this year. I only have two left. I do have a lot more than two eyeshadows to talk about because I chose more than 24 to focus on. Um, but that means that after this update, if I had pan in two more eyeshadows, uh, I will have reached my goal. So that is very exciting. And I think I'm just going to stop after the next, next two pans. And then I'll just use my makeup organically. Hopefully I will hit a couple more pants. Because the weird thing is, I haven't actually hit pan in any other eyeshadows this year. Apart from eyeshadows in this project. Uh, so no other pants from organic use. But I'm quite light-handed with my eyeshadows. So I'm not extremely surprised by that. But it's just a little bit interesting. And I haven't been doing any other specific like eyeshadow panning projects. So... This has kind of been my only project where I'm trying my best to get pan in eyeshadow. And I'm doing quite well, apparently. So I have two uh, new pants to share with you this month. And uh, I will tell you about the, I think it's five eyeshadows that I haven't hit pan on yet. That like two of these will have pan by the end of the year. The rest of them we'll see. I hope you enjoy this. And if you do, I would love if you would hit the like button and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and now let's go so I'm going to start on top with an eyeshadow from my Rose Gilded palette from MAC this was a limited edition palette and I have hit pan in three of these eyeshadows four of these eyeshadows in this project uh, earlier on in the year but uh, now I only have this green left and it will not focus. I think I did something to my focus thing. I need to check what happened. I have no idea what I did. But the thing is, I haven't used this at all. So we're good for this one. Um, zero uses in October 11 total uses this year. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to pen in this one this year. But I, because I do have some other events as well. And it's just not a priority, even though I like it. I have been having so many eyeshadows in this palette already. And now I need to fix my focus so that I can show you the other shades. <laughs> okay, hopefully now we'll, it, it works. We'll see. So the next one comes from my MAC, uh, my palette of MAC Singles. And it's the shade Sumptuous Olive, which I did a get ready with me where I talked about how beautiful this shade is and then I realized that it's actually discontinued which I think I also said in that video that it happens with all of my favorite MAC products all of my favorite MAC lipsticks, eyeshadows, face products, everything um, so this eyeshadow is no exception but I, at least I still have it and this is my second one and I finally had it is very tiny but I know you can see it I'll have it over here so that you can see the comparison to last month. So yeah, finally. I think I used it once or twice after doing that Get Ready With Me. Uh, yeah, twice. Because I used it three times total in October. And I total of 18 times this year to hit pan. But I did have a pretty big dip. Um, all of these eyeshadows had quite a lot of usage before I started the year. It's one of the reasons I chose them. Oh, almost all of them, at least. So that's one more pan after 18 uses. And that's also one of the greens out. Because I have one more green to show you. I only used this one once this month. Uh, and it's the shade El Malcom from 
the Alamar Reina del Caribe palette. So just one use this month. Total of 21 uses this year and it had a big dip when I started. But these are really deep pants. Um, I feel like I might be kind of close. Not really like close, but maybe five, six more uses. I, I really have no idea. I don't know why I'm trying to estimate how many uses I need to use it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on working on it, and we'll see. But I love that eyeshadow, but it's just it will take a while, and I'm not sure how many light green looks I will want to do in November and December. We will see. Uh, so yeah, once in October, that's not a lot. I should have used it more. I know what happened. I have one shade from my Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. Um, this is just taking me such a long time. I don't know why. Uh, I used it three times in uh, October. It's this one right here. And I did use it now a total of 20 times this year. And I thought this would be an easy shade to pan on. You can see the dip is definitely very big. And I've been using my finger, so I'm kind of using a bigger area of the eyeshadow. But I mean, come on, 20 uses. And these eyeshadows are normally quite easy to pan on, but it's just it's not a shade that I love. And when I use it, I just do a very simple, like, all over the lid, brown in the crease type of look. And I go to work, and that's that. But it's not my favorite gold to use for that. So I'm just gonna try to pat on it, and then we'll see. And once, um, one way that I discovered that I like using it is if I put this all over the lid, and then I top it off with one of these two shades from my Huda Beauty rose gold palette it's not what it's called it's called the Huda Beauty nude light palette nude light obsessions so I basically just top the gold off with one of these because these tones are just a little bit nicer I think but the shade that I'm trying to pat on in this project is this brown one it looks when I do it like this it kind of looks like there's that in it or no it was just a speckle glitter. I have used this one 11 times in October and a total of 74 uses this year, which is kind of crazy because this also had a dip when I started this year. So I'm very excited to see all the progress pictures from January up till now. Uh, up until I hit pan because I think I'm close on this one as well and I can use this one with a smaller brush and just use it on my lower lash line and just lightly in the crease along with something else and I don't know, I will hit pan on it in November. I'm gonna make sure I do because I don't want to keep this for longer because I want to use this again but I want to take a break from it, you know, what I mean. So those are all of the palettes that had quite a lot of usage before I started this project. But then in February I got a new palette that I also really wanted to focus on a little bit. And I had seen pictures of people on I think both Reddit and Instagram who had hit pen in a lot of these eyeshadows with not that many uses. So I chose three eyeshadows in here to focus on. I hit pen in Cherished quite a while ago, or was it in my last update? In my last update. Uh, so that mean, meant two more eyeshadows in here, and this, oh, I'm gonna show you this, this one right here, I have no idea why I'm what it was, because I cannot see the um, screen here. But yeah, this one called Joy, I did hit pattern this month after Three uses in October and a total of just 20 uses. That's quite nice. Just 20 uses, but it's a very soft shade. Uh, and it's a very tiny pen, but it's a pen nonetheless. And then also in the shade Self Love, 
which is down here. No, this is not working. Down here. Um, I used this one four times in October and I've used it a total of 26 times, but still no pen. I usually use very little and I use a smaller brush and I focus in the same spot, so it should be fairly close. But I don't know. I'm gonna keep using it a little bit and we'll see. But I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use it 10 more times this year. But if I hit pan after three more uses, four more uses, five, that would be cool. So yeah, those are all of the eyeshadows that are left. These um, updates are just getting shorter and shorter. Last update, I did the expand those pants along with this, but I decided I still want to continue doing expand those pants only every other month so that, um, yeah, I'm going to continue doing that. So next update, I will have my expand those pants either together or separately, I haven't really decided, but you'll see my expand those pants in about a month. That was what I'm just trying to say, and then you'll also see an update on these, and then that might be my finale, we'll see. If I hit pan into more eyeshadows, if I don't, we'll have to wait until the end of the year to see what happens. But I think I should be able to hit pan in at least these two by the end of the year. No, by the end of November. Uh, I'm filming this on uh, election day in the US, so it's um, it's been a couple of days in November already, but I still have many days left to go. And we'll see if we'll have something to celebrate or not by the end of this. Uh, I wish you luck if you are in the US. After you're seeing this, we're already done. The results will be in, but yeah, I hope you're, I hope you, are happy with the results. I don't know. I, I, I've never been able to vote in the US and I don't really understand all of it. But, but I think it's interesting to kind of follow along and try to understand what's going on. And um, yeah, politics is kind of interesting. So that's what I think, at least. And uh, this was not going to be a video about politics so i'm gonna wrap it up here i hope you enjoyed my updates and um i'll see you in my next video bye